What's going on, everybody? It's Kimi Street Worker. You guys today with a brand new video. That is right, dear guys. Daily dose of Kimi news is going on today. That is right. Um, we are having fun here with the news. It's going to be a good one. Nice, quick, and short one today. Not much happened today in the news. Um, probably because PAX East is just starting up, so there's really no point. Um, but yeah, let's dive into the news, guys. Uh, so Xbox Live or Xbox does um release what their games with gold are going to are going to be for twenty for April twenty nineteen. Um, and we got Techomancer, Outcast, Star Wars Battlefront 2, and Ghost Recon 2. So we got two Xbox One games, and original Xbox game, and an Xbox 360 game. So that should be interesting, interesting, if you ask me. And next on the list, uh, Final Fantasy today came out on Switch, Nintendo Switch, and Xbox. Go download it's like 15 bucks on... Uh, the Switch, no, sixteen dollars in the Switch and fifteen on the Xbox. Go play if you haven't already. Tons of fun. Uh, more details on Nintendo Switch Pro and cheap models were leaked. Hmm. So it was rumored that the Nintendo Switch Pro console will apparently not be a huge leap forward in power. Um, your game resources corroborated with the initial Wall Street Journal report, confirming that the Switch Pro will not be as powerful as the PS4 Pro and Xbox One X. Um, however, it will represent a boost in power compared to the original Nintendo Switch, with the power increase being compared to the transition from the 3DS to the new 3DS. So it's fairly incremental, but um, I still think that's a good idea. Um, and their possibility is that the Switch Pro may have increased storage capacity. Um, yeah, I mean, we'll have to wait and see. Um, once we can see, I'm sure we'll get more information at E3. Those are some of the rumors. Let me know what you guys think of that down below in the comments. I'd be really appreciate it. Um, Bethesda Starfield is going to be at PAX East. Uh, Starfield uh, has been talked about now for, uh, I think, two or three E3s. Um, yeah, it's been, uh, it's, 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 it, it looks interesting. Um, I'm excited to see it. Uh, I hope it's at PAX East. I love seeing more info on uh, Starfield. I think it's going to be a great game. Um, but yeah, guys, so look out this week for news, um, and if we don't get anything super crazy this week, we are going to have to wait till E, we probably wait till E3, uh, which Bethesda will be having their E3 showcase Sunday, June 9th at 5.30 Pacific Standard Time. So, that's cool news. <coughs> Sorry, guys, in a burp. More people considering PS5 than Xbox. According to the analysts that aren't named in this article, uh, the, next generation, the next generation of consoles isn't too far away. Both Microsoft and Sony are supposed to announce PS5 and the, the new Xbox at E3 2020. I think it's actually be 2029, but okay, we'll leave it there. Uh, which takes place next summer in advance. Um, da, 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 da. Uh, Harris Interactive, a market research firm in the UK, surveyed gamers in the region to see what they plan on purchasing. Um, 2,146 interviews were conducted between 16 and 64 years old. The PlayStation 5 was the winner with 38% of the, those surveyed saying that they would consider buying the rumored PS5 console and 41% saying that it's the systems that are mo they are most likely to buy. In comparison, 26 said they considered the Xbox and 24 called it the console they are most likely to buy. Um, so, I mean, it's fairly close. I mean, there's still a lot of time to tell. Um, but it went PlayStation 5, Xbox, the next, the next Xbox, Stadia, Switch, and then none of those. So, yeah, I mean, interesting stuff, interesting stuff. Next big thing in news, there's a lot of, uh, video game for agents in the world. Now the EA has decided to, uh, roughly, roughly lay off 350 workers, um, you know, uh, Andrew Wilson, EA CEO, outlined the goals for the company, saying that layoffs would help streamline the decision making process in publishing and marketing departments. Um, he also stressed that EA's vision to be the best video game company in the world, but the company was not there right now. Um, EA's official EA released a statement regarding the layoffs. Uh, it says this took t took some important steps as a company to address its challenges and prepare for the opportunities ahead. The statement continued, in addition to organizational changes, we are deeply 
We are deeply focused on increasing quality in our games and services. Great games will continue to be at the core of everything we do, and we are thinking differently about how we about how to amaze and inspire our players. So, a few more free agents on the market. Thank you, EA. And then, uh, what I thought was the biggest news of the day: the Google Stadia could be adding Final Fantasy XIV to its lineup. Um, I think that's a pretty big deal to get something like a Square Enix on the Stadia. I think it could be. Um, really awesome. It should be able to handle the MMO just fine. Um, and we'll have to wait and see what happens with that on the whole front. Um, but yeah, guys, I mean, that's that's it for the news. Not very exciting today. I do apologize, but that is the way the cookie crumples. Um, so, anyways, guys, I just want to say thank you guys so much for tuning in. Make sure you guys leave those likes, likes comments, and blah, blah, likes, comments, and subscriptions. They'll be greatly appreciated. Um, make sure you guys do subscribe so that way you guys don't miss on any of the daily videos we have coming out every single day of the week. And until next time, guys, this has been the Keymaster 84. We play games to make games. Haters are going to hate. I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.